Hello students, today we will do a new poem and the name of the poem is The Lazy Frog. Students, this is a wonderful poem and I am sure that you would love it. So before starting the poem, just tell me one thing that when you go to school, you are busy, right? Because you follow a routine. But when there is a holiday, do you become lazy or you follow the same routine? Well, if I have to suggest you, I would always say that never be a lazy person. Always follow your routine. And now we will start the poem. Students, it's very clear to you that, that this poem is about a frog as the name of the poem is The Lazy Frog. So let's start the poem. Fred is a very lazy frog who lolls all day upon a log. He always manages to shirk doing a single stroke of work. His poor old mother calls in vain, come in and help. He does not bother to move two inches, much preferring to be extremely hard of hearing. He lies there in a silent heap and stays conveniently asleep. So, now we will do the explanation of the poem line-wise. So, frog's name is Fred. So, Fred is a lazy frog. And what does he do? He just lolls. Lolls means to sit lazily or to lie lazily. He just lolls all day on a log. Log is a trunk of a tree that has been cut. So what does this frog do all day? He just sits on a log all day. He always manages to shirk doing a single stroke of work. Shirk means to neglect or to avoid. Single stroke of work means that you know not to do any work at all or to do very small amount of work so what does fred do he always manages to shirk he always avoids always neglects his work doing a single stroke of work that means he doesn't do any single work he always avoids it his poor old mother calls in vain, come in and help. He does not bother. And Fred's poor old mother, she just calls in vain. In vain means in waste or uselessly. She just calls him uselessly. She just calls him in, you know, vain that, you know, come in and help. But he does not bother. Bother means he doesn't take any trouble to do something. He doesn't even listen that. To move two inches must preferring to be extremely hard of hearing. And because he doesn't take any effort to move two inches, he doesn't even move two inches when his mother calls him. And much preferring, prefer means to choose. Or to do something which you like to do better. And much preferring to be extremely hard of hearing. Extremely means very. Hard of hearing means a person who is not able to listen properly. So this person listens with difficulty. So that person is called hard of hearing. So, as Fred doesn't move even two inches, much preferring and what does he like to do? He just likes to, you know, become that or pretend that he is hard of hearing, that he is not able to listen what the mother says. He lies there in a silent heap. Heap means a mass, that means a pile and he just sits there like he is a heap. And stays conveniently asleep. And what does he do? He just 
easily sleeps there without moving two inches. Now we'll read the next stanza. If a lady frog hops past, would you think he would get up and last to bow and heap her on her way? But no, I'm ashamed to say that when a lady frog comes by, he doesn't open up an eye. Now, now we got to know that what is the behavior of the Fred. Then, now what happens next? That when a lady frog hops past, hops by, hop means to jump because frogs, they do not walk, they jump. So when a lady frog hops past, hops by, do you think that he would, you know, stand at now at last? No. To bow, bow means to give respect and help her on her way or try to help her. But no. I am ashamed to say it. Who is this I? Poet. Who is saying it? So poet is saying that no, I am ashamed to say it. That you know when the lady frog comes by, when the lady frog comes, even then this frog, Fred, he does not open up one eye. Uh, he is this much lazy. He just keeps lying there like a heap. So, he is the perfect example of laziness. So, I am sure that one should not do it. Right, students? So, what did you learn from the poem? You learned so many things. Number one, always obey to your parents and elders. So, don't be like this lazy frog, Fred, who just pretends that he is hard of hearing and he doesn't bother to listen to his mother. Don't shirk your work. Don't avoid or neglect your work. Never stop doing your routine work. You must always do your things according to your routine. Don't be a lazy person. Never make false excuses. Like Fred, don't pretend that you have a problem which is not there. So don't make false excuses. Give respect to women. Yes, very important point. We all must give respect to women as Fred didn't wake up to help the lady frog out. So you all must not become like Fred. So I'm sure that you learned very nice things from this poem, The Lazy Frog. So thank you very much students and keep studying.